Hey, ooh. Um, another great cinematic moment that I'm going to be recounting. I do this just because I am a cinephile, and as a cinephile, <clears throat> with all that's good and bad about being a cinephile, you uh, wind up seeing, just volume-wise, a lot of movies. And you uh, develop a certain way of watching movies, a way of looking at them, and and uh, <clears throat> a way of, uh, of gleaning information, uh, or maybe not infor maybe information is not the right word for it, but gleaning uh, meaning uh, in in various ways, um, and the 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 um the movie i'm going to talk about uh, having a great moment uh today is actually not a movie that i'm personally crazy about i don't um have uh, a a a personal love for this movie the way that i do about the others that i've talked about in this great moments in cinema uh, series so far. Um, the movie is Blade Runner, the original Blade Runner, 1982, Ridley Scott, directed. I do have a lot of respect for this movie, and, uh, you know, I, I know that it was groundbreaking in many ways, and that the, uh, the visuals are amazing, the special effects, uh, you know, still hold up t today. Um, I just find whenever I watch this movie, um, and the subject matter is interesting, but whenever I watch this movie, it makes me just, it, there's something soporific about it. It just makes me really tired. I think part of it is that it's rather slow moving. And part of it is that it's so much, so much of it is set at night when it's raining and it's just like, Oh, my eyes feel heavy. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, I'm, there's, there's, uh, it, it it's never been a film that exact, exactly has grabbed me. It's been a film that I've, like, I think I struggled to get through it all, um, just because it was so slow, um, and because it it uh, made my eye, eyelids feel heavy. <laughs> but nevertheless, there is a great, great, great scene in this movie, and that's the scene. Uh, in which Deckard, the scene in which Deckard faces off against Rutger Hauer's character, and I just had to look, look up the name of that character. It's Roy Batty, uh, which is not not quite the character name that I would have expected from this guy. Um, uh, I don't know. It's it's it's. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem to to do justice to him somehow. Um, he's a very fierce and intimidating presence, um, but at the same time, he's somebody you you sympathize with, um, the, the, because in this weird inverted morality of the of the movie, the hero is not really heroic. Deckard is uh, somebody who is. Uh, going and, and uh, hunting down uh, these replicants, these rogue replicants, um, who really just want to live. They just want to to um, uh, not not be enslaved to humanity and, and and just to go on to go on living. So really, they're the you know they're the good guys. The righteousness is on their side, uh, and Deckard's not a good guy. He's just a hired hand. He's a mercenary. Um, so, the, but nevertheless, this, this guy's Roy Batty played by a young Rutger Hauer, you know, young Rutger Hauer, uh, very, very, uh, tough, intimidating customer. Um, and this, this may be his best role. Uh, certainly probably, certainly his most memorable role. Um, so the final fight between Deckard and and Batty uh, is is an epic one. They're they're on top of this this um, 
like this old rotting house and uh basically Deckard's losing I mean he's he's uh he's trying to fight back but but Batty's got the upper hand the whole time the only thing is that that Batty is is running out of out of battery they, they you know they're maybe that's what the Batty uh, where, where, where the name Batty works He's, he doesn't have, uh, he has hardly any life left in him. And, uh, so really all Deckard has to do is outlast him, but it's, it's hard to, it's hard to outlast him because he's just getting thrown around like a rag doll. Um, and, uh, and then the most, uh, incredibly powerful moment in this movie, and in, in one of the, I I, th I would say one of the powerful moments in cinema history generally uh, happens. Um, Deckard winds up, you know, hanging on for dear life. He's he's a he's uh, on the top of this 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 building. Um, he's you know it's it's like I don't know ten stories down. If he if he falls, it's certain death. Um, and Roy Batty is just sort of looking at him and, and, uh, taunting him and, you know, saying, well, now you know how it feels to have to, to see, to, to know you're going to die and, and blah, blah, blah. And then the incredible thing happens. Roy Batty saves Deckard. He pulls him up. He grabs his arm and just pulls him up, pulls him to safety. And we're all shocked to see to see this happen. Everybody is shocked. Deckard is shocked. Batty is shocked. He didn't know he didn't know he was going to do that. He didn't think he he wanted to 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 uh, to do anything of the kind. He was somebody who was bent on revenge. He wanted you know to watch Deckard die. Um, before he had to die, but he, but he didn't do it. He, he, uh, he, he saved him and the audience is, so everybody's just, it's, it's something where everybody's, you know, both the people on the screen, <laughs> both the characters, the two characters on the screen and everybody in the audience were all watching mouths agape. You know, like nobody expected that to happen. That's a, that's an amazing thing. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that, but like, I mean, they, the, the actors knew it was going to happen. I mean, but the characters had no idea. There, there was no reason to expect a twist like that to, ex to, to see, to no, no reason to expect that Batty would, would, uh, you know, have mercy on this man who was, who was hunting him and his kind down. And it's never really explained why he does it. He, he does have that, that famous ad lib afterwards where I've, he says, I've seen so many things. And supposedly Howard made up that, made up all that stuff on his own. At the in the moment, which is if it's true, that's pretty badass. But um, but it's never really uh, it's never really explained, and that's what I think is. I, I think what what makes it so powerful is that it's a miracle. It's a miracle, and miracles can't be explained. Um, and the ironic thing is, I guess that we see. This this replicant, this you know, res, this 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 man who is uh, you know, like they, like they call him a skin suit. Uh, he, he's he's not truly human, but he at that moment he behaves much more humanly to Deckard than Deckard was was ever prepared to behave towards Batty. Um, but Batty doesn't do it to gloat either he 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 again he, he has he's just as surprised as everybody else just as surprised as 
as Deckard is, and just as surprised as we, the audience, are, that he did that. You know? And that's a moment that stays with you. That's a moment that that uh, you remember. And it's a, it's a genuine moment of of uh, how do I describe it? You know, it, it was a it was a it was a genuinely good deed, but it was more than a good deed. It was a you know it was a heroic deed. It was it was like an it was sort of like a turning the other cheek kind of action because uh, you know it's it's uh, Deckard was was his enemy, and he didn't have any reason. Uh, you know and. Uh, up up to that point, Batty had been completely tribal. You know, he, his his fellow replicants were his uh, were his allies. Uh, they were his comrades. But uh, the, the 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 human uh, forces who were trying to uh, take them out were were his enemies. But for some reason, at that moment, he saves Decker, and I think Decker knows that he was not worthy of being saved. I don't want to shoehorn any kind of Christian meaning into uh, or, or resonance into any of this, but you can't help but think something like that. You know, the redemption of a man. Who doesn't doesn't deserve redemption? Um, <clears throat> in this case, by a most unlikely redeemer. Anyway, that's, that's my uh, uh, cinematic moment from Blade Runner. Tell me what you think below.